Today we're gonna dive into the best Trevenon teams that you can use in Open Great League. Hello trainers, Ganeto here and we're gonna start off with a Red Steel team uh, with a kinda safe switch uh, Trevenon on its back line. Uh, let's see how good this Pokemon is in different combinations and we're gonna start off with a team that is ranked uh, number one according to PV Poke. so I would be not surprised if you had quite the success when using this line of three. Uh, so even something against uh, uh, this Karmory, you can still go pretty hard with back-to-back -back Shadow Balls because they cannot farm you down right on time. And look at the damage! I really like Trevenant in the current meta of Open Great League and this team in particular works really well against uh, this Karmory because Medicham is gonna be as the closer of the team because Medicham with power up punches can still go pretty hard against the part still uh, Flying Bird so you're gonna have not only good uh, matchups against uh, the neutral ones like this Swampert over here but against Skarmory you can still pressure it down in using some seals or finishing it off if you play it right with seals with your power up punches uh, at the same time you have all those Stunfisks and Bastidons uh, on your side and of course you're gonna be in a very good way if you're facing uh, an Azumarill and you have an Excel Meditam because Straight Psychic will be the key for you to succeed the matchup against that uh, Azumarill. A soft win but still it is a win and a huge one. Uh, now let's focus a little bit on the next one because we're having that red steel that comes up uh, up in the lead against this uh, Wolverine and even if this Wolverine is debuffed you can see that it still hits hard with its, uh, with its earthquake. Now overall I think that Meditam can still defeat this Wolverine and you can see that uh, Trevenon is gonna be uh, kind of the close I think for this scenario we're gonna see together because this line of three really uh, uses Trevenant as a closer and a safe closer at the same time because you are gonna have a lot of safe matchups overall. Uh, my opponent decided to use two shields so I'm pretty comfortable to keep my Trevenant as a closer but overall with this line of three you might want to use it as a safe switch. Uh, Charizard is gonna be the core breaker for this team. It can beat down that... Uh, uh, red Steel with straight Blast Burns, it can easily beat down that uh, Trevenant and of course has a great matchup against uh, the Medicham but it's all depending on the Silt scenarios so I would not be that much worried, this line of 3 uh, has almost no weakness at all, the second weakness that it might have is another Trevenant because your only answer is gonna be the Mirror but still Red Steel has a soft win against, a soft loss actually against the opponent's Trevenant. Uh, I love this team composition, I really recommend it to you and you're gonna see that even though I threw a very bad move against that uh, Bastidon, I can still go pretty well with my Trevenant on that uh, wall rain and still finish off the Bastidon right on time. Uh, on this video we're gonna have uh, three different teams around Trevenant so I would like to show you how good that Pokemon is and perhaps you saw your appreciation by subscribing to the channel or, leave a, or even liking this video. So down goes the Bastidon and now let's focus into the next one. Trevenant is not only a very good safe option but at the same time it is a very good safe lead so I would really recommend to you trainers if you could go in there with your teams with the Trevenant up in the lead. Not having a lot of weaknesses, perhaps the dark types but still something like an obstacle which is gonna be by the way the core breaker for this specifically specific uh, line of three uh, you can still go pretty hard with your back-to-back -back seed bombs uh, I would not be that much concerned of other dark types because the backline can really work pretty well against those uh, especially something like a Mandibuzz you can still go with your Wolverine on that Pokemon and hope for the best of course but still Drapion is a is a perfect safe switch for the current meta of Great League having access to Poison Fang and Crunch can really outspeed the opponent and of course uh, Sludge Bomb can really help you against certain threats like the Azumarill so this Pokemon is a pretty good one and even something like a Nidoking over here or a Stunfisk can really get hurt by your crunches especially if you can get the debuff on them uh, right now we're gonna go in there with the Trevenant because we want to pressure down this Nidoking but my opponent decides to go for the very smart switch out to that Tala Marowak and now we have to go with the Asikl Spear for the bait hopefully they sealed here and then Trevenant will be on the optimal scenario to 
finish off uh, the opponent right on time. So here comes out the bone club. Down we go to the next fire spin. That was a mistake by me. I should have gotten to at least uh, one uh, Isaac Spear there, but it's all good because Trevenant is no joke at all. Down goes that Alamarwak, which is the counter of Trevenant, and now my opponents bring. Uh, brings into play this uh, Nido Queen, which will try to snipe it down, but Seed Bomb is a very good move to have on your Trevenant. So, in combination with the energy gain from the Shadow Clock, we're gonna take the victory eventually. Uh, Obstagoon, as I said before, it's gonna be a really trouble, troublesome Pokemon for your line of three because it can beat down Wolverine, it can beat down Drapion, and at the same time, it will struggle your Trevenant a lot. But uh, overall, the Seed Bombs can really chip uh, uh, the HP of that Obstagoon away and at the same time your other two Pokemon can still do solid work with their spammy movesets. I cycle spear here and uh, that uh, that sludge bomb from your Drapion will work a lot, will do a lot of work against the dark types like this Umbreon so I would not be a lot of worried that worried with my Trevenant line against the dark type because my back line can still help a lot especially if you have a bad lead scenario because you want to switch out to your Drapion and hope for the best. Now my opponent decides to come back with that uh, uh, Deoxys and go for the Thunderbolt which was kinda weird and I would go here for the Shadow Ball finishing off the Deoxys uh, right on time and now let's see what they have at the back. Uh, I'm expecting the Ombre to return so I will go here for the Seed Bomb and you can see that with uh, some energy ahead perhaps Trevenant can still beat down the Dark types because Seed Bomb uh, also does a lot of damage. Trevenant is a high uh, attack weighted Pokemon, so that can always work towards your advantage. Let's go with the crunch here, and I'm expecting uh, a move to be honest. I cannot outspeed here for sure. So down we go, and from uh, Trevenant as a leader, we're gonna transform it to a Trevenant as a closer. Uh, we're gonna take a lot of damage from this move, it is a sludge wave, wow! Uh, so we decide to block here and now we're gonna go for the back-to-back -back seed bombs, hopefully at least, to finish off the Umbreon. Let's see together how this unfolds because this is gonna be a super close one, I think they need one more snarl, they are at 3 and they need 4 this time to go for the move and yes we can outspeed and we can also take the CMP and that's another good thing because Trevenant wins a lot of CMPs out there. Time for the final one, trainers, and we're having a Vigoroth up in the lead. I really love Vigoroth in combination with Trevenant because those two provide a very solid and safe core uh, for the meta of Open Great League. Uh, we're gonna have the switch from my opponent to that Skarmory, and unfortunately, Skarmory really works well against this team. Uh, they're gonna go for the Brave Bird, which was kind of weird, but I can simply go now for the almost farm down because they're getting close to the Sky Attack. And that uh, I don't want to spend another shield on my Vigoroth. Uh, I talked with them after the match and they said that uh, they were expecting a no shield at all, which was kinda smart. Uh, most of the times I go for the no shield because I know it is gonna be a sky attack, but I knew that this trainer was gonna go for the uh, amazing uh, nuke down, so I was like, okay, let's go with the shield and let's see what happens. Uh, overall, it worked for me, and you're gonna see that Sableye really works as a safe switch very nicely. I go down to that Leaf Blade, but uh, to be honest, uh, I, I was having quite the time because the return did a lot of work uh, to their shield. So I'm just gonna go now with the Vigoroth. I have perfectly aligned my Vigoroth to the dark type. And obviously I will go down here, but with uh, Trevenant able to farm down the Sif tree, uh, we're gonna be in a very good position against that Hypno because not only we have one shield up, I decided to block here. I know this is gonna be a nice punch, not gonna be a shadow ball at all, uh, but uh, we're gonna go for the back to back seed bombs, not gonna go for the Shadow Ball eventually because uh, this Pokemon is not gonna need at all and down they freaking go after the Sif Tree uh, coming in into the fight with the Seed Bomb. This line of three is uh, kind of weak to the Altaria because it doesn't have uh, the win cone that it needs because Sableye will lose its uh, right straight and square, uh, Vigoroth loses right straight and square and uh, Trevenant gets dominated by the Altaria matchup. However, 
you have all those uh, matchups being super close so your next Pokemon can simply farm down or whatever uh, so you're gonna have the energy advantage on the next Pokemon and because the backline is a double ghost this team is a, an ABB team uh, you're gonna have uh, to use your Sableye as your aggressive switch most of the times to bail out something like a fairy type to bail out something like uh, a dark type or whatever uh, use your returns do whatever you can like even against a dark type Sableye can still provide the win if you can play it correctly so my opponent has a Bastion on the back and I'm pretty happy because Trevenant can still close the match and this line of three really works well if you can play Trevenant as a closer uh, it really snipes down the opponent Shadow Ball does a lot of damage as we said already on this video and Seed Bomb will assist you a lot on your matches uh, here comes now the foul play for the last uh, uh, cry against this uh, Bastedon. Uh, we're having a lot of lags here because uh, uh, trainer battles are pretty laggy at the moment but it's all good because down goes the Bastedon and now this uh, Trevenant will have to pull off the win against this uh, Sableye. However, keep in mind that we're super close with our own Sableye to the move and I will not uh, uh, comment anymore. We're gonna uh, leave this up to you trainers because right now i want to thank you all for sticking to the channel to being such a huge support and amazing support to my channel thank you for that be sure to leave a like before you go subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and you're gonna see an amazing uh, finish off here with the last second foul play and with that said stay safe trainers and i hope to see you all into the next one take care everyone